Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about creating tables in HTML. A table is basically a way that you can format information and display it to your users. So if you've ever used something like uh, Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets, you're basically working with tables and that's kind of what we're doing here in HTML. Over here, I just pulled up some images of a bunch of different tables and these are just examples of the kind of things that we can create when we create our tables in HTML. So you can lay out information in this table format. So the way we create a table is by using the HTML table tag. And this is kind of a complex tag, so you wanna make sure that you pay attention to all the components that go into a table. So I'm just gonna create this table tag and then I'm also going to need an ending tag. And so inside of here, we can put everything that we want to go inside of our table. And the most basic layout for a table is you're defining a table row. So a table row is like a horizontal part of a table, right? It's one entry into the table. And we can define a table row using these table row tags. So tr and ending tags for TR. So this is going to represent like one horizontal row, one entry into our table. And you can define the individual data for the table. In other words, like the individual data for each column in the table by using something called table data. So table data is just going to go inside of this tag. So I could create one piece of data. I'm just going to call this one. And that would represent one column in my table. So this is like one column. And then if I put another table data, it would be like another column in the table. So I'm going to copy this and we'll just paste it below here. We'll call this one two. And I'm going to do the same thing. We'll do one more and we'll call it three. So now when I come over to my website, what I should have is a basic table with three entries or three columns in one row of information. And that's exactly what I have. So I just have one, two, and then three right here. What I could do is I could insert another row into my table, right? So I have this initial table row right here. If I wanted, I could just copy this and I could paste it right below. And now what we're doing is we're defining another row. So if I refresh my page, you can see we have these two rows. So why don't we change this to four, five, and six. And you can see that the rows in the table are formatted just like they are here. So this row was specified first and it's showing up first in the table. Then we specified this row and now that's showing up second. So that's the basics of adding data into a table. But we can also take this a step further. So if I wanted to, instead of just defining data, I could define headers for the data. So I'm gonna make another table row. And over here, it's gonna stay a table row, but instead of defining table data, I'm gonna define a table header. So instead of TD, it's gonna be TH. And I'm just gonna change that on all of these. And so now I'm going to change these. So these are going to be like the titles or the titles of each column for our table. So I could say like num1, num2, and num3. So we're basically they have to list out three numbers. And you'll see here that these are now like specified in bold. So these would be like, you know, the different column titles. And then here we have the information for each column. One of the other things about tables is that they're really flexible. So if I wanted to come over here and add in another column to the table, all I'd have to do is just copy this guy and we can just put in another table data entry. So we could say like three and a half. And so now in addition to this three, we're also going to have another entry in the table, but we don't have to have entries for like these table headers or for this other guy. You can just put whatever entries you want. And the other cool thing about tables is that they'll resize themselves. So as I make this window smaller, you'll see that the text inside of this table is like wrapping around and that's kind of cool. So you can compress the table and you'll still have all this information. And you can see that the information below it is actually moving down to accommodate it. So tables are actually really responsive. So you can define as many table rows and as much table data as you want. And there's actually another thing we can do, which is add in a caption. So the caption will be like the overall title of the table. 
So right here underneath the table tag, I'm gonna put these caption tags. And again, this is like the title of the table. So we could just say like list of numbers. And now this table will have a nice caption on it. So you can see the caption will sit like right in the middle, right above the table. And a lot of times what people will do is they'll make this like a header. So you can make this a header too. And now it'll be like this nice big title for our table. So it looks really good. So that's the basics of using a table. Another thing that people like to do is define a table head and a table body. And this is just makes it easier for people to read through the tables in the HTML. So for example, right now it's like not super obvious that this is supposed to be the table heading. And it's not super obvious that this is supposed to be like the content of the table. So you can separate the two sections by specifying a table head and a table body. So up here, right underneath the, actually right before this caption, we're gonna define the table head. So I'm just gonna say T head. And then below here, I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna end this. And now I'll just sort of indent this so it looks a little bit better. So this is gonna be all the information in the header of the table. Now we can create another tag called a table body. And it's gonna be the same thing. I'm just gonna say T body. And then we'll end the T body down here at the bottom of the table. And again, I'm just gonna kind of indent these things. So it's easier to see. So now our table is laid out with a head and a body. And you'll see that it doesn't change the way the table looks, but it just allows us to format it and organize it a little bit better. Now there's one more thing that we can do with tables, which is control something called call span. And call span stands for column span. So for example, I have this one right here, right? And this is in the table. You'll notice that when we look at the table, one takes up exactly one column in the table, right? So it's taking up one column and then in the second column we have two and then three, but I can actually have one take up more than one column. So I can come over here in the table data and I can say call span is equal to, and inside of these quotation marks, I can just put an integer number. So I could say, for example, two. And now this piece of table data is gonna take up two columns in the table. So you'll see right now it's taking up one. When I refresh the page, it's taking up two now. So this one entry takes up two columns in the table and then everything else gets pushed over to the side. So I could also say like three and now this will take up three columns just like that. So you can control how many columns each individual table data is gonna take up. And that really allows you to control like every aspect of your table. So that's the basics of using tables. I mean, you wanna just make sure that you're using the right tags. I mean, tables, at least for me, have always been like kind of daunting because there's so many of these like little tags in there. But as long as you keep them well indented and you keep them organized, then you should have no problem. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.